Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Derek Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. In today's video, I just want to talk about the um, Memphis Tigers football pro uh, program and what lies ahead for this uh, this team. As many of you already know, um, a lot of people are defining this as a critical time in um, Ryan Silverfield's uh, tier with the program. He's going into what a lot of people say is a gauntlet of playing some um, really uh, good football, football programs, programs that, you know, got good resumes, you know, uh, some of them have uh, had recent success, um, you know, Missouri is a, you know, SEC school, not one of the premier ones, but there's just a lot of hype, you know, surrounding Missouri going into the season, Boise State, you know what they're about, you know, it's, their resume speaks for itself. Done a lot in the past and beaten a, a quite a few, you know, blue blood programs. Uh, most notably, the one it really kicked it off was when they beat Oklahoma in the uh, Fiesta Bowl in 2006, I believe. Well, I think 2007, if not mistaken. So they have the res they have the uh, you know the cachet of being one of the top G5 pro programs the, over the last decade. And Tulane, you know, they're like the um, They've gotten their attention, you know, their, um, you know, fame for what they did last year in the Cotton Bowl, and they turn around from going in, uh, I believe, with two year, two games in 2021 to winning 11, 11 to 12 last season. So there you have it, you know. So my thing is, is it is it the uh, end of the world for Silverfield if they if they lose all three games? Think about it. I would say, man, it depends. It depends on how they lose. You know, um, they go out there and lose in shootouts, put up a good effort, but they, you know, come up short, you know, last minute plays. They might have a shot, man. You know, or they, they play in the way they've been playing lately on offense, where it just looks like the offense, they can't run the football sometimes. You know, uh, can't get any, uh, you know, momentum on the outside on the perimeter. Maybe. So, some of the things we saw last season, that's a possibility. But it, it, it's a possibility that things will spiral out of control like last season. But I, I doubt it. You know, three game, out, of, out, of, out of the three games, only one of them is a, is a, conference, a conference opponent. And that's Tulane. So far, you want to know the conference. You uh, beat Navy, a really good. I think, which I think might be a really good Navy team. Um, you, uh, Missouri and Boise State don't have nothing to do with your conference play, with your, you know, seeding in the conference for the, the plan for the championship, the conference title. Now, in regards to, you know, the New Year's Six thing, that could be out the window, you know, because they go by which um, G5 program, group of five program, has the best record. So three losses may put eliminate you from that. Um, Boise State, a lot of people pegged uh, Boise State as, you know, that school that can represent the G5 in the um, New Year's Six. And they're also the, the projected favorites to win the uh, Mountain West title, the Mountain West Conference title. So far, Boys State gotten off to a sluggish start. But, and our people say, well, you know, they're not where they were last, last season or previous season to that. But you can't ever take them lightly, man. You know, never take them lightly. It's a program that has a really good defense, really good running game. You can't take them lightly. These Boys State, they have a resume. They have a reputation for showing up in big games against certain opponents. I then they got smoked by Washington. In the opener, but you gotta take you can't take them like Tulane. Um, they look to me a lot of this depth of success depends on what on the health of Michael Pratt. Michael Pratt is there, they could be a, a really good football program. But since they've lost to uh Ole Miss, um a lot of the spotlight is, is you know worn off on them. So they no longer rank <laughs> and they're no longer getting that uh, media dollar attention for right now. 
but their backup QB is not bad. Kai Horton is not a bad quarterback. I just don't think he is um, Michael Pratt. So, all three of those games are winnable. All three of them. And especially the game uh, coming up against Missouri. I think Memphis is like a, you know, plus five, you know, like underdog. Missouri is a minus six. Six point underdog in this game. Memphis is like a six to five point underdog. This matchup. They have a shot, man. And their quarterback it might not be 100%. Brady uh, Cook. I saw that injury that occurred in the uh, game against K-State. That was a close game. thought Kansas State would have beat them, but it didn't. But I'll give more on the detail on that game down the road this week. Uh, looking forward to seeing how that's going to play out this Saturday. I, I plan to be there. Uh, I'm not covering it, but, you know, I expect to watch that game or a little road trip to St. Louis. Um, looking forward to seeing how Memphis play in live, uh, in live time, in real time. But all three of those games are winnable. The 50-50, in my opinion. You can go either way, you know. So, and maybe this is what Ryan Silverfield, maybe the, uh, we get to see a different version of Memphis. You know, um, his first uh, three games has just been kind of something similar to what we saw last year with the offense. Maybe they're trying to hold their best, you know, for the big game. Hold what they have, their secrets and all that, their plays for this, these next three games. To close out the season. They were not close out the season, but going into their, you know, their, the bulk of their schedule. So, looking forward to seeing how it's going to play out with the teams, you know, with uh, Memphis and how it's going to determine on um, determines uh, Civil Field's long-term um, team for this program. But I think even if he loses those three games, it's just, um, I think there's still a chance for him to win the conference title or play for the conference title. You know, uh, but I just think that he can't lose to Tulane and SMU. He, really, he can't do that. Really can't. So let's see how it's going to play out. All right, so I'll have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. How do you think these next three games are going to play out for Memphis? Also, check out StrikeSevenSports.com for this content on the NFL, the NBA, Memphis Tigers football and basketball content, along with the Grizzlies. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.